did you know that the first pullback at the start of a new trend is the most rewarding? Because you are getting in just when the market has turned, it's almost the same as getting in near the top or bottom. In this video, I will break down a simple exponential moving average trading strategy that you can use to nail this first pullback. If you do it right, you will be able to capture trades that yield big reward to risk ratios. Now this isn't the first trading video I have about catching the first pullback. But this video will be very detailed as I will break down everything. Even the specific instructions on how to define a swing high or swing low, the time frames to do this on, your entry trigger, stop loss and take profit. Basically everything that you need to know. There's going to be a lot of information packed in this video, so I recommend pausing whatever you're doing right now, taking out a notepad and writing down the exact things you need to watch out for. I've paid good money to learn this strategy and I'm making this available to you for free. So please do not just see it as another strategy and forget about it. Watch this video as if you invested $3,000 just to learn this. This is the biggest request I have of you because it is meaningless for me to create videos like this if you don't take action. So leave a comment down below and let me know that you will take action. Do hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel as well because it helps us reach more traders so we can keep producing high quality content like this. And if you want to participate in our giveaway worth $37, then look for an emoji somewhere in this video. You can also find the full instructions in a pinned comment down below. So let's get the time frame out of the way first. For this particular exponential moving average trading strategy, we will be using the 15 minute time frame chart only. Now I'm going to be very clear on this. Use this strategy only on the 15 minute time frame chart. Do not attempt to use it on other time frames. I know it's tempting to do it on the M5 or the M1 chart so you get more trades. But please do not do that because I have not tested it on other time frames. The last thing I want for you is to take this strategy and apply it on some other time frames and blow your account in the process. So for this strategy, let me give you an overview of the rules first before I dive into each of them and go through the entire trade setup. Rule number one, price must pull back immediately after the swing low or high reference candle. Rule number two, there must be a pullback candle but not more than three pullback candles. And rule number three, an inside bar does not count as a pullback candle and there's no limit on the number of inside bars that you can have. I know it sounds a bit complicated or perhaps even a little intimidating right now but I promise you it will all make sense if you stick with me. So let me break down what each of these rules mean. Now to trade this strategy, we need to input a 6 and 18 period exponential moving average. Most trading softwares out there have an exponential moving average pre-installed but if you are new and don't know where to get it, then head over to tradingview.com and you can use the charts and indicators for free. For this strategy, we want to catch the first pullback just after the trend has reversed. Naturally, this means that we need to be able to tell when the trend has just reversed. To do that, we look for a crossover between a 6 and 18 period exponential moving average. A crossover is an easy way to signify that the trend has changed. This should be rather simple but let me show you a couple examples here. The next step is very critical so listen closely and keep watching. The moment the crossover happens, that candle becomes our swing high or swing low reference candle. We need to watch for price to make an immediate pullback after the crossover happens. It is very very important that the pullback happens immediately in the subsequent candles. Now taking this example, we see that price went on to make a higher high after the swing high reference candle. When you see this, 
then this setup is no longer valid. So let me show you a proper setup. Here, we see that there's a moving average crossover as given by the 6 and 18 period exponential moving average. At the crossover, price makes a swing high or what we call the swing high reference candle. Now price doesn't go above the swing high, so the setup is still valid. Price then forms a lower low, which is what we want to see. This is what I call the pullback candle. A pullback is defined as a candle that makes a lower low than its previous candle in a bullish scenario. And that's the entry when price breaks the Pyra candles high. We look to enter when price breaks the high of the previous candle. The stop loss goes below the candles low. Now don't worry if you didn't get that because later on I will put everything together and give you a bearish scenario. Now ideally, we want a pullback candle to retest the exponential moving average as dynamic support. Well, this doesn't always happen. Sometimes the exponential moving average will be quite some distance away. But hey, that's alright as well. So moving on to the last rule, an inside bar doesn't count as a pullback candle. So what is an inside bar? Well, an inside bar is when the bar's entire range lies within the Pyrus candle's range. So here are a few examples of inside bars. Inside bars like this should not be viewed as a pullback candle. While there is a limit of 3 pullback candles for this strategy, there is no limit to the number of inside bars that you can have. Now before I show you a couple examples, I want to touch a little about this stop loss and take profit levels. As I mentioned previously, your stop loss should go below or above the candles low or high depending on whether you are long or short. Now for your take profit, you can set it as 1.5 times of your stop loss, meaning to say that if you are risking 20 pips, then your take profit target should be 30 pips. You can also trail your stop loss and ride the trend because you are jumping in at the start of a new trend and price is likely to go on much further than a 1.5 times take profit target. But because I don't want to make this strategy too vague and leave you hanging, you can stick to a take profit target of 1.5 times your stop loss and keep it simple. Even with a modest take profit target of 1.5 times, you should be able to make money as you only need to be right 4 out of 10 trades to break even. So right now, I'm going to show you the entire trading strategy through a couple of examples. So please keep watching and take notes. So over here, we have the 6 period exponential moving average crossing over the 18 period exponential moving average. And the crossover, that's our reference swing low candle. Price immediately pulls back and that's a pullback candle. Price goes below the pullback candle low and that's our entry. Our stop loss goes above the recent high and our take profit will be set at 1.5 times of our stop loss. Here's another chart with the moving average crossing over. At the cross, that is the swing high reference candle. Price goes on to make a pullback bar since it makes a lower low. And another one, and another one, and it doesn't stop at 3 pullback candles. So this setup is no longer valid. So we skip this because we can only have a maximum of 3 pullback candles. Now looking at this example here, again, we see the crossover of the exponential moving average. So that's our swing low reference candle. But rather than forming an inside bar or a pullback candle, price breaks lower. So make a guess, is this setup still valid? Well, the answer is no. If you answered yes, then you forgot rule number one, which is price must pull back immediately after the swing low or high reference candle. In this case, price went on to break the low of the swing low reference candle, so the setup is no longer valid. And that's all the examples I have for you. 
Recapping the rules of the entire strategy, we have three rules. Rule number one, price must pull back immediately after the swing low or high reference candle. Rule number two, there must be a pullback candle but not more than three pullback candles. And finally, rule number three, an inside bar does not count as a pullback candle and there's no limit on the number of inside bar that you can have. So if there's any specific part that isn't clear or a question you have, leave a comment to clarify your doubts. My team will do their best to answer your questions if you have any doubts regarding this particular trading strategy. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I will leave a link to the other pullback trading video that I've previously uploaded and I recommend that you check that video out next. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.